Greetings, my friends, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as the American Union State. So last time, we had a pretty good time kicking out enemies and slowly but surely, oh boy, trying to get over here to Portugal. I said at the end of the last episode that we would try to get or uh, try to peace out with the French Republic, but you know what? I kind of didn't do that yet, so it is what it is, uh, but they only have two to five divisions left. The, India has quite a few, so my goal is to get to Portugal and then invade the French Republic. Hopefully we can do that. If not, you know, whatever. We're going to continue going down our focus tree. But we do have the Long Dynasty right here, my friends. Well, it's taken many years for the Long family to mature in the public limelight. The brothers and sons of Huey Long are more worldly because of it. In this time of uncertainty where any bodies could be an assassin, should Huey's family but occupy the vital positions in the presidential cabinet? cabinet. It is a stretching confidence for all but the most determined longest to accept family into the high positions of the post. That's going a bit too far. Or you can't go wrong with Long. We get Earl Kemp Long, head of state... Ooh, research efficiency gain, plus 14%. Not bad. And no more political power, but we get Russell Bellew Long. Oh, corrupt kleptopat. Mm, I'm sorry, that's a bit that's a bit too much, my friend. That's a bit too much in my mind. But we do have some other comments to get to, which we will address in just a little bit as we watch, as we hopefully don't die here. Please disengage from them. So, it sucks trying to do all this naval stuff like the way we're doing it, but it is what it is. I wish it was different, but it is what it is. Cool. Also, I did send some divisions over here. Oh, there was fun of Valonia to help just kind of defend that island there. I think it would be really important to do that. And our tanks just kind of hanging out on the island as our ships are repairing. Having a good time. And we shall begin reconstruction, my friends. Uh, take the fight abroad. Uh, let's see. Bonus for land auction trials against generals, military research. Oh, we get another research slot. Oh, army bonus bill. Oh, that is literally three, 105 days away. Oh, 105 days away, we get another research slot. That could be so good. Punish the corp Corrupt and Treacherous Reconciliation. Civil Works Administration, Civilian Corps, Electronics, Civilian Factories, and a bunch of states get infrastructure. People's Commission, destroy the clan. That wouldn't be too bad to do. Ensure loyalty. Every man a king. Uh, for the pole, man. Education for the mass. There's so much I want to do. You get slightly more daily political power and less consumer goods factories. National Youth Administration. That's a lot of war support, which you get to use. But we're still getting more war support, aren't we? Maybe not. No, we're losing stuff. Trade convoy is being raided. That sucks. War heroes being killed sucks as well. We're gonna take the fight abroad. With our victory at home, we now have to prepare to fight to whatever shore we need to take. So to whatever mountain we need to cross and whatever foe we need to face. Bonus to our land auction, which will come in handy. More army XP, which is okay. And we can begin trials against corrupt generals. Which is actually very good. Hopefully we'll continue to make some more uh, dockyards and ships, because my lord, do we need it or what? So we're still gonna heavily emphasize civilian factories while building some naval dockyards. We're building up Radio and the Zor so we can see enemy ships better. Yeah, I definitely want to take out Portugal. El Salvador is gone. Uh, we just finished another dockyard. That's nice. But, uh, let's see. Uh, we can probably do it up here. So, oh, definitely New York City then. A couple comments, including... Oh, I asked you guys yesterday what we should rename this to. Uh, AUS Infantry. Yeah, no, we don't believe in that stuff. Marine Divisions, we're going to keep for now. Biggios? Someone correctly, or very intelligently, told me I should name it as America's Finest. Much better than Biggios. I think this is a much better name. Thank you very much for your comments about that, because Biggio's, that sounds like some not very cool name. But anyways, uh, someone also recommend I rebuild the steel belt so we can help our industry rebuild the steel belt, if I should say that more correctly. The steel belt, because apparently we're like running out of manpower, which we are from the south, and we're demobilizing some more as well. The Netherlands is gone. It looks like the, the syndicalists are doing pretty well, because we are, because even though this is not like, there's no resistance, this is still just a colony state. Germany, are, can you really afford that? I mean, you're looking really bad, Germany. Holy cow. Oh, the Union of is taking those guys out. Oh, there goes Albania. Construction 4, very good. 1941, my friends, of course. Uh, we could get some resources. 41, maybe some better radar. Let's go with some nuclear stuff so we get more research speed. That'd be quite delightful. Next up. Oh, there we go. Rebuild the nation. We could rebuild Alaska. But, you know what? Since someone recommended it, I'm going to rebuild the steel belt first. Oh, there goes Bulgaria. Just because someone asked me to. And Ohio, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and four more states become cores. That is actually extremely good. Holy crud. Uh, anything else? We could get some more resources here. Barty, Commune, good. Actually, that's really, really awesome for us. Be oh boy, what happened here? Hey, look at that! We lost a plane in exchange for an uh, escort cruiser and seven destroyers. And then ten more destroyers. Jesus Christ, that was awesome. Wow! That's a lot better than I thought what would happen. Good job, guys. Bagley? Oh, spotting speed? 
Ooh, I'm not really going to emphasize destroyers too much, even though we have quite a few. Lancers would be nice, but not, not really using uh, torpedoes here. Get better spotting speed once we get enough command power. That'd be great. Oh, that is so good. Good job. And you guys? Oh, I want that as well. Samuel? Oh, he could be so good. We barely get any... Uh, 0 0.06 a day. Why do you pain me so much? El Salvador, Nicaragua. Alright, so you guys. I really don't want to do it like this, but with India fighting India. Oh, uh, actually, Bharati, you coming? You're fighting these guys, Dominion of India. No, you're not. Oh, that sucks. Never mind. I thought they'd be fighting them, but that's okay. Now, we tried this earlier yesterday. Syndicalist bombings. God dang it. Uh, but we're going to rebuild the Steel Belt first so we get cores. I love the Steel Belt. I live in the Steel Belt, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't, actually. Hmm. I can't really tell. New England. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, destroyers. Or, yep. Find them. Find them. Sink them. Don't, don't let them destroy our ships. Get those carrier planes out. Go, 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 go. Sword efficiency. Go, go, go. Oh, my goodness. 15 destroyers. Lots of an escort cruiser. And nine more. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead and heal up. Like, go and do that. Oh my, what is going on over here? Oh, we're getting invaded in the middle. Oh, convoy's being raided. That sucks. Are they seriously trying to invade me? Uh, uh, tanks? Oh, wait. Oh, you guys are good. Oh, psh, they are trying to invade me because I'm, I sent my tanks that way. Oh boy, I hope I can win. Hope you win. You only evade armor, but... Mm, I hope that's enough. I really hope that's enough. Sink them, sink them, sink them. Stink them. Alright, so you guys... I'm gonna actually send you guys here as well. Uh, actually... Let's hold. Uh, actually, you guys. Um, actually, you know what? Half you guys hold. I only want one division to go that way. And I only want one of you guys to go that way as well. Because there's still only someone guarding that tile. So that'd be okay. Alright, they're trying to naval invade me. And I'm trying to naval invade them. And we're killing each other's convoys. It is what it is. Portugal. Hello. All right, guys. Good job. Um, how many divisions does Portugal have? Okay, they might have quite a few. That's not ideal. Uh, cool. I'm not gonna send all of you across the river. If anything, I'll send you guys across. Maybe. You know what? I wonder if we can actually just kill these guys off like this. I don't know where their divisions are at. Hopefully they're not actually in Portugal. Can they pierce me? They can't pierce me. I can't believe we actually invaded Portugal. Holy crud. Coimbra. Coimbra. Porto. Beautiful, my friends. Oh, why did Portugal have to do this? But you know what? At least that, gives, that literally gives us an American footing here. Uh, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. They're going so fast. I love this. Military research. After so many decades of isolation and the devastation of the Civil War, our nation lacks the capacity for military research and development of other great powers for the world. Let us begin to remedy this unfortunate reality. We'll fall of Lisbon. Yeah, why not? Why not? You know, why not? I'll take him out. Okay, Porto's gone. They should be capitulate now. Right? I mean... Hey, if Portugal doesn't want to defend its lands, I am I am totally cool with that, man. Are they going to capitulate to those soon? Hopefully. I think we've done really well. Great! I, I, I'm not really sure what else to say, but great! <laughs> I guess next up is one, two... Really, I want to get down here. Oh, that's going to be three then. That's fine. Wait, is that St. Louis? That is St. Louis. Okay. I got one of those too. I'll have you guys invade St. Louis, as well as you guys invade Dakar. I'm... Okay, release of the Joint Army Navy pho Phonetic Alphabet. So, one of the major lessons from the Civil War was a need to enhance the speed and clarity of our communications on the front line while not making our movements and organization system obvious to the enemy. In order to create a cons consistent naming new system, the Army Navy has designed a commission from the Signal Corps to work on a new radio alphabet system for many years, and we can finally have the results from the efforts. With the pu publishing and distribution of the Joint Army... Army, Navy, phon Phonetic, Alphabet, Manual, our new alphabet shall utilize code names Abel, Baker, Charlie, Dog, Easy, Fox, George, Howl, Item, Jig, King, Love, Mike, Non, Oboe, Peter, Queen, Roger, Sugar, Tear, Uncle, Victor, William, X-Ray, Yoke, and Zebra. While similar radio systems have been developed for the Canadians and Germans, the fact that we've finally taken the task of standardizing it means we're catching up with the lessons we've missed in the Great War. Cool. Yeah, I'm really surprised. How did we not... 
That, why did they capitulate? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sure, they're probably more developed than they're. If you take Bolama, maybe that would be enough. But, mm, 90%, mm. Are y'all ready? Oh, we're still waiting to get some guys over here. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. Please make more ships, though. Oh, what? Liberia? Okay. Sure. Go. If you can help me out, Liberia. I mean, this is a great time for you to go to war. Like, no joke. Oh, crap. Do we just... Oh, it's on this way over Okay. What is this? Syndicalist bombings? God dang. Syndicalist terrorists. Uh, oh, we're still putting them down. That's fine. British Indian operative captured. Oh. We have ways of making you talk. Nepal? Well, who cares? Uh, I'm gonna say no, but good, good luck, guys. Good luck. You Did they seriously take it? They seriously took it back. I hate these guys so much. But that's good. You come from Lisbon. Uh, you take the Azores, and I just take your capital. In what universe does that make sense? Why? Why? Carrier organization, sorority efficiency. Yes. Yes, please. It really seems like I'm going to take this one off. I don't want to. I really don't want to. I think I need to take this one off, too. But once we get some of these ships and guys out of the way. Baltic Federation's gone. Russia's having its time. Hopefully Russia and the Third International kill each other off. We'll see what happens, of course. Kaiser Wilhelm II is dead. Oh, that is a terrible time to die, Kaiser. Kaiser. Kaiser, no, Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser. This is an old world blues. Or Fallout. If only. But it's not. Oh my goodness. They actually took a sub. What the heck? Oh, you pieces of crap. You pieces of garbage. Straight garbage. Adoption of the M1 helmet. Ever since the Valkyrie proved that helmets were vital to protect the infantry from flying fragments of exploded ordnance, the American armies utilized a British Mark I helmet designed by Brody, which gave his current nickname. While adopted, the U.S. never saw a need to mass produce it and instead continued to buy the models from the British and the cheap during the Depression in the early 20s. While these helmets were effective at the time, our experience in the Civil War has proven that even the Brody is no longer suitable for modern combat, and as such, a research team was created under the Major Herald G. Sydenham. To look for alternatives, the research team concluded that by removing the Brody's brim, by adding the side pieces and earpiece, and by incorporating the suspension system into a separate inner liner, the new helmet could provide a protection the Brody could never afford. The original test item was known as a TS-3 and received a favorable report from the infantry board in the recent weeks. With the approval of the War Department, we will soon enter mass production to supply our rapidly growing army. Thank goodness we got rid of the Brodies. Nice. Good. I guess. No. Take up. Ah, uh, the Union Burns doing there. That's fine. We should have probably invade there first. Morocco's capitulated. Nice. Hey, look at that. We're building more. Build, 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 build. Good, good, good. Military factories, it up. Ohio, sure. 60, 70, 70. And civilian factories. Which would be great. Oh, nice. Keep thinking their subs. Ah, uh, so, trial of the federal generals, once we do. Army bonus bill. Combat hardened boys into men, men into solid steel, unshakable pillars of Americanism. Only a fool would leave such veterans that these... Aziz, by the wayside, by paying generous amounts or additional bonuses to combat veterans pr predicated on continued upsetting citizenry, especially involvement in our military research apparatus, perhaps we can at least truly harness their potential. Trial of the Federalist Generals. With the Civil War over now and our enemies at mercy, the Army has finally begun the trials against the Federalist government. While some Jones have fled in exile, the Jones and are now waiting for the verdict of the military tribunal. However, despite what the public believes, it's not as easy to carry out the trials as it was originally anticipated. Most trial generals don't even have any particular record of unnecessary violence, and even those that do still can can still claim that they were following orders. Among them, the most controversial one is Dwight Eisenhower. Both Patton and Fox kind of appeal to his innocence. There's no denying that in America's darkest hour, he and many others followed, who followed him ended up on the wrong side of history out of their own volition. While some of the captured generals have sworn to quit even if forgiven, there are other men who would pledge to defend the new America if they're forgiven, so long as, as long as we can commit, commit to the ideals America stands for, but in the end, final decision rests with the jury. Spare them. Exile is the only thing they deserve. I'd like to do that one, but I did that one with Federal MacArthur. And I'll probably do that for another campaign when I play as American Union State. Spare them? I'm not going to spare them just because they did fight us. So, I'm probably going to discharge them. They can live. They can live here, but they shall be discharged. And it gives us actually some political power, which is really nice. We could actually use that. Probably. Maybe, maybe not. War economy, army bonus bill. And I'll probably get one for the syndicalists as well. Hey, army military research. We're having our best scientists and businesses, business leaders look into what we should invest our efforts into guns, artillery, tanks, or improving our, our own doctrines too. 
What should we choose? Guns, artillery, armor, land doctrine. Actually, how far are done are we done with the land doctrine? We're all we're pretty much done, so that would be a waste. I'm gonna go probably with tanks. Because we're using light tanks, but I wanna use maybe a different type of tank template here, so. Yeah, if we get more bonuses to tanks, that'd be good. Actually, how behind are we? We're a little behind on artillery, but honestly, artillery isn't take doesn't take that long to do. We're a little behind in guns too, but mm, I'm gonna go with tanks. Like I said, I really want to make tanks a centerpiece here. So let's see what we can do about this. Uh, Mid Atlantic Gap. That makes sense. Hey, good. First Indian nation is down. There's two that remains. Alright, so can we invade the mainland? That is the most important thing. If I can get all the way up to here through these garbage terrain areas, that'd be great. We'll see what happens. We're going to capitulate Portugal down there. I mean, if we have to fight through it, so be it. I mean, we have... Tanks don't cost that much for supply, I think. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't let them sink. Come on, tanks. Ah, the Pacific Generals. Basically the same thing. Except it's now Devers and Patton have spoken in favor of absolution for the past colleagues. Strange uh, circumstances of their defection and the ultimate loyalty towards America, the American people. Oh, uh, cool. We're just going to discharge them as well. I think it just makes sense for us. I, I did it with the other people, so I might as well do it with these guys too, right? Good. Good. Discharge them. There goes Bohemia. There's going to be a lot of red in Europe. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of red. Cool. Okay, we... They don't really... I don't even know what's going on anymore. Now, you got to make your way up to Algiers, which really sucks. you got to make yourself down, go down to St. Louis and Balama. If possible. Man, we are fast. I love light tanks. Oh my gosh, we are... We got here faster than the other guys could deploy. Jesus, that's amazing. I should get there. I'll do that. How about the Liberians? I, I will reward the Liberians for their uh, efforts. Because they deserve some. For now. For now. Let's see what happens. That's, there's a reason why I didn't give them a... Uh, any sort of uh, non-aggression pact. That's the word I'm looking for. Can, they can't pierce me. Yes! 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 That's exactly what I was waiting for the entire time. Can you guys actually do anything here? Can you actually beat him up? How about if you encircle them? Just gonna hold on for now. No, you can, you can hold. Alright, uh, they're attacking me, so we're just gonna go around them. Collapse of the Reich's back. The Kaiserreich is about to fall. So much for joining their faction. And it's lagging. So, the Reich's back faction is now dead. Germany... Oh, I'm so sorry about that. That must be really loud. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got enough of this, though. We'll get there eventually, though. Let's look at that. We could raise... Uh, we could really actually raise our war support. That actually might be really beneficial. We could get more manpower. Aircraft designer. Fighters. I love fighters so much. Fighter. Oh, well, hold on. Pan American Airways. Ryan. 10%. 5% air, air speed, but you can build stuff even faster. 5% more research speed or 5% more production. I like production. Magnolia Petroleum. That's okay. Uh, maybe eventually. Navally. Ingalls. Shipping Ings or Higgins. Carrier production minus 15%. Wow. Uh, see, AC, BBs, DNs, dreadnoughts, battleships, and armored cruisers. Uh, that's not bad. That's actually really good. Yeah, we'll definitely go, probably go with this one. Research speed goes up. I think. I think this would be best, though. Let's produce more fighters. I don't know. Let's do that one. Screw it. Because I still want to get some of these carriers out. I'm not even making a carrier, god dang it. Oh, we're making Dreadnought, so it might be, might be a little easier to make for now. Good. How is this? Oh, okay, you've encountered some resistance. That's not good. Uh, organizationally, you're doing okay. Just gonna hang out for now and defend. I actually gotta send probably someone else up here with you. Oh, there's some lag. Uh, I mean, they're probably releasing some German puppets now, which makes sense. Since the Reich's back has fallen and the second Belt Creek is mostly over. So now the only majors left will be me. Of course, the Third International, and Russia, and maybe Japan, potentially? Potentially. But they have their own little faction to deal with. Man, that is some serious lag. Maybe you want to skip ahead in five seconds, ten seconds, to see if we're out of there, so. Still here, though. Still here. Come on, Courtney Hicks looks amazing. He's getting old, but he's doing a pretty good job so far. We're going to get all of the southern portion of the French Republic in Africa finished first, and then we're just going to glide around here. Actually, hmm. Oh, let's see what happens. I'm not sure how good Liberia is going to be just trying to fight, but my goodness. How many Germanys are they trying to release? Probably four. I'm going to assume Hanover. Maybe Prussia goes to Russia. Uh, the South German Union with Bavaria. 
maybe the Rhineland gets released. But you also gotta remember that they got released the Batavian Commune, and then the Communists. There it is. There it is. Oh, see, that took, that took really long. Oh, and they had to eat up all this group too, which really sucks. Oh, the German Empire's still kind of here, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Australasians, I don't know why you're doing what you're doing. I'm actually going to send you right here as well, to help hold for now. That'd be nice. So, the rest of you two... I need you all to move quick. I need you to take all this. Take the airfield, take all these tiles. You can hopefully move quick enough, maybe. Oh, come on, stop with the lag. Just because the Reichspec falls doesn't mean we need to see all this lag. It is 41, July 4th. July 6th, I mean. It, we, it was just July 4th, so we probably had a couple barbecues if we could afford that. I don't know, I wouldn't say America would be too too wealthy after a civil war, but that's just me. Liberia seems to be doing well, though. Ah, see, Germany, I think he's down here now. Probably. Definitely not Middle Africa. Definitely not. Oh my goodness. Please. please. I just want to take out these enemies. Uh, and then they go. German Empire. Go cool, there. They go. Finally. Thank God. And the German government exiled. Now they can't even ally with the Entente because the Entente is dead because they went to war with me. Beautiful. Uh, as long as they're not moving around and they can't kill me here, that's good. We gotta make sure we have Bashar done. Second. This is Guardamento completed. Oh, cool. Oh, Panama. Serbia is looking nice and thick. Look at that. Moscow. Serbia. Russian Republic. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Quite. Cut them all off if you can. Now some of these enemy nations are getting released. It is what it is. This will be a tough third international beat up, but you know what? At least it gives us an end game boss for us to figure out how to defeat. Of course, the first nation that we'll probably defeat would be these guys down here called the Mexican Radical Socialists. Radical. Here comes some more lag. As long as the game doesn't crash, I think I'm okay with it, but... Wing victory. Sarawak has capitulated. Watch out. Ah! Synchro's bombings. Hey, look at that. The Batavian Commune is here. Hello, Hank. Sneevy. Sleviat. Cool, very cool. Uh, I really, really hope that they get that uh, other tank division up here quickly. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh my god, stop releasing nations so fast. That's the problem with Kaiserreich. They just love releasing things as fast as possible. Or as much as possible. I hate when that when that happens. Come down here. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Take, take, take. Get all the way down here if you can. That'd be great. More dockyards? Don't mind if I do. Alright, advanced carrier hole A. Nice. And we just a little bit of naval XP, which is good. Uh, I like getting just a little bit of armor so light ships cannot pierce us. Radar, nice. Level 3 carrier engines. Not bad. And get even more, uh, not armor, but hangar space. There you go. Now that's a nice carrier. Louisiana, and then after that, another cruiser hole. We're gonna need more rubber. Nice, nice. We're attacking it in the rear, nice. God, I love these things so much. So fast, so speedy. Uh, I actually want to add you guys here too, because I do definitely do not want to get encircled here. And getting a little more lag. All right, so we have Czechoslovakia here too. That's interesting. Oh, the Rhineland is here as well. So we have the Rhineland, uh, North German Socialist Union. Uh, I'm going to wait for them to release some more, because I, I really don't want to see 20 different Germanys. So I'm probably just... Oh, Austria's here too. I'll probably combine Hanover and the Rhineland together into one nation. There's the SD, SGU. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want to see all this. I definitely want to reduce the lag. Um, North Schleswig under the Union of Denmark is fine. I don't really care. But... I know it doesn't make any sense. I can mark that. South German Union. You know what? We'll answer this over as well. I'm just going to court for them. Even though it's not court, which doesn't make too much sense. Uh, I'd rather have two Germanys and one. So you guys come over here. Uh, two Germanys and three Germanys. There you go. This just makes a little bit more sense in my mind. I don't want as much lag. Two is still better than... Three, but three would be... One would be ideal. Uh, coming to France. Army bonus bill, great! Finally, new weapons designs, increased military spending. Wow, we get a lot less political power then. Military factory spending. Uh, that's okay, we'll do that. We'll, this will defend eventually. Let's go ahead. Punish the corrupt and treasonous. Well, we've already kind of 
somewhat forgiven people, but let's go with Every Man and King, just to get more factories. Every Man and King. What began as, began as a dream and lifted from a motivational book by Orison Sweat Marden. Every Man and King is now a political reality. It is positive thinking and the end of pessimistic greed that caused the Great Depression that will save America. Following Huey Long's economic and social plans to transform America and rewrite the political landscape with a fifth research slot, which is awesome. Finally, five research slots. The way it ought to be. All right, get over here. You only get to take a little bit of attrition. That is fine. Ah, oh, they wanted to come in, I see. Huh? A little bit more lag. Don't let them in. They can't pierce us yet. Oh, they're attacking the militia. I love it. Far off Barcelona, so far as the heart of old Catalonia. I think my sister's been actually to Barcelona. Yeah, actually she has, huh? Weird. Um, go ahead. Oh, you're already down there. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Good. We're going to own a big old chunk of Africa when we're down here. Hey, Irish Social Republic declared one Ulster. Ulster is independent? I remember you from TNO, James Craig, huh? Hey, the CNT FAI is gone. Good. Kingdom of Spain. Good luck with whatever's going to happen. That's all I can say. It's just good luck. Let's see. Can we get rid of the terrorists? No. Next up, we might do that one. Pacific. We might do the Pacific Coast. That's pretty good. Alaska West. Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota. That's not bad. South Atlantic States. What is Delmarva? What the heck is that? I'll probably do New England. New England would probably be great. Did we core this already? Was Ohio cored? Yes, it is. Doesn't seem like we got that much more manpower, but then again, we're still demobilizing. Um, is that right? I thought this was Delaware. Delmarva. Am I ignorant? I might be ignorant. I don't know. What is Delmarva? I've never heard of that before. I'll look it up after this video, if I remember. But Delmarva. Is that... I don't know. It sounds like a dish to me. Have you, do you have any Del Marva to eat? Ah, and the Ulster. Assembly line production, good. Let's go ahead and get some more, some more artillery, some better artillery. Nice. Now I'll get everyone up here because we're going to have to seriously push through here. It's going to suck. That's all right. If I had to push that way, lag hot, we might be able to take these guys up fairly quickly enough. But I'm going to get another division here first. And of course, there goes Ukraine. Well, of course. Entente. They're looking kind of blue. International. <sighs> Sardinia. Must, it must be terrifying living there. Cineplus bombings. God dang it. Lose stability, but whatever. We already have 3% stability. That's better than before pre-war America, so. You're making your way up here. Great. Another division. Poland is unfortunately gone. I like St. Czechoslovakia. We have the Hungarian Socialist Republic. Republic of Austria. Is that... So, radical Socialist, okay. Czechoslovakia, Hungary, and Romania still exists here. Coming to France, probably gonna release Poland now. That, wow, that's a nice Poland, that's actually really nice. That's actually very nice. No, oh, there is Slovenia here. I thought they didn't come out yet. Slovenia, there goes Lithuania. Floating airfield, very nice. Keep improving upon it though. God, I love it so much. Beautiful, that's actually beautiful. That Poland? I'm glad Poland got freed. Like that. Oh, shh. Nikes, what is going on over here? Why do we have convoys over here? What the heck? Alright, I think it's time for us to move out. Take all but you and attack this way, and then all but you. Go there, there. See what you can do. Can they kill you? They can't pierce us. So kill them back. And then we're going to come down here immediately. We're going to attack this way immediately. Hey, look at that. An encirclement. Beautiful. I might just say go ahead. Carol of Romania expels Iron Guard. Oh, the culture King of Culture reigns supreme. Good job, guys. See what you can do about that. If you could get over here to Oran, that'd be great. I'm gonna go ahead and help you hold right there. Take another division. Come over here and take the coast. To hell with these guys. Straight to hell. You guys are gonna keep these guys in place. Good. Beat up those guys. Can they pierce you? Not yet. The French Republic. I'm glad I did not peace out using console commands using this. Because this, this is a little more satisfying, honestly, to do it like this. Liberia. Wait, did you get anything? Wow, that's a bigger Liberia. I've never seen something this big. And we don't have to deal with the uh, resistance right there. Even though that looks really bad, but whatever. They just want to give me more territory. I see how it be. I see how you do. Good. Kill them off. Ah, oh, we just got encircled ourselves. God, flicking dang it. It's all right. It's all right. We'll deal with them. Even if they get the port back, it's fine. Actually, no. Don't let them move. Don't let them move. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. 
You bunch of sons of guns, rebuild New England next. Nice. Very nice. We're taking the coast, or we were taking the coast, and now what are we doing? How about we just encircle them? Oh, we can encircle. Hey, Japan, yeah. Just take the capital. Oh, no, they're defending the capital. Okay. Every man a king, my friends. Every man a king. I am for the pole, man, because we want some infrastructure, right? Roadmap for the future. Uh, that's not bad. Share the wealth. I kind of want to get down here. So, roadmap for the future first. So, the expenses of the president has taken out for every man and king requires a fundamentally different means of tax collection and pu public financing to sustain, sustain itself. Therefore, a resident long has laid out a roadmap to plan out spending for the next four years of his term and milestones that America could cross. Let's hope we cross them. Because every man a king. But no one, no man, no woman going to wear a crown here. No, no, no. That is against the very ideals of America. Go here and help him out. So many things we're doing here. Are we really out of guns? We might be. Uh, we're out of artillery, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Take him out. Good. Oh, yeah, this is nice, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs, this is nice. Oh. Don't you like it when things come together, finally? After, after quite a bit of a struggle, things are actually looking up. Like, we were in one of the worst wars probably America's ever seen in its history. But, you know, we actually invaded Portugal of all places. There goes Sweden. And the Don Kuban Union. But, uh, yeah, that... But we've all... We're already in Africa. Like, we've already invaded Africa. They're trying to get out. Wait, who did you go to war against? Common France? Were you fighting... Oops, my bad. You're not getting any of this. No. No, no. Fall of Algiers. Good. Nice. No, I don't think so. Nope. Get Tunis. Oh, we can build more. Yes. Steel belt. We must protect the steel industry as well as Southern Ontario. Keep building this up and then build more military factories. Indiana, Michigan, Missouri. I could build the south up more. I'm gonna wait a little bit first. And I don't want to forget to do this too. Because we love the south, we get the infrastructure first. And then, ooh, over here. Oh yeah, build us up. Now, unfortunately, this is Kaiserreich, where you don't get more resources if you build up more infrastructure, but you know. It is what it is. Cool. Del Marva. Hmm. Canada, I'm sorry, but you're. Oh, actually, I'm not really sorry you're last, though. Not really. Alaska's not going to be last. Canada will be. I'm finishing up all that stuff. Finish that there. Finish that there. Guantanamo Bay. Bermuda Triangle. Or Bahamas, I mean. Bermuda's not there. Uh, honestly, I'll probably just straight up annex. Portugal. I'll probably just do that, too. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Take Tunis. They should be done. They should be done. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Alright, here we go. So, Bharatiya Commune. I think you deserve quite a bit of India. I think I'll just give you all of India. I don't really care about India, to be honest with you. Uh, there you go. So, you got your des just desserts. Um, you know what? I'll even give them this, because I have really no interest in India in this campaign, to be honest with you. Hmm. Oh, Vietnam is out. Wow. Portugal, I am just going to take you all. Sardinia. I'm just going to take it. Corsica. French Republic. I'm just taking it all. And Australasia. Now, we didn't fight them too much, but it does make sense for us to completely annex them. Let me know, should I annex them? Should I release them as a puppet? I guess probably. I'm probably going to have to end up Releasing them as a puppet, maybe? Maybe not? I really don't want to deal with them down here too much. You know what? I think I'm going to release them as a puppet. I want to release one big old Australasia. Just so that I can get the puppet. So, trial of weapons companies. The number of weapons many companies have fought for the various traitors and rebels against America. Thus, a hearing has been brought before Congress to decide their fate. Shall we allow them to operate again, or shall they be regarded as traitors and treated as such? Operate. I think new companies which shall be available should be treated as traitors. I have been pardoning people to a degree just because they thought that they were doing what was best. 
they could they all they want to do is make money and if we let them operate again they could help the economy but we could put them under our own control which could be very very beneficial to us so let's go ahead and allow them to operate again it's not good for our ideology but that's okay are we still who the hell are we still at war with nepal of all places why the hell are we at war with nepal why are we at war oh we still haven't changed our capital yet um what the no i'm not gonna release that uh i'm just gonna oh portuguese monarchy republican no i think i'm just gonna annex all these guys this is so stupid why am i getting punished for all of this i don't want to release all these different countries that doesn't make any sense. Mal Why do I get punished for Malta? Of all places. Malta? Tunisia? They could be nice, but at this point, I think we're just going to keep them under us for now. We'll die. No. Um, let me know in the comments below. Should I give myself some sort of political power? Because this is ridiculous. You shouldn't get penalized this hard for not wanting to release African states. Now, Australasia. Uh, United Australasian Confederation. I will do that, just because I think that makes sense for us. And I don't want to garrison that as well. But should I give myself political power? I'm at minus 600. We won't be able to do a god dang thing at all. Which doesn't make any sense. Uh, 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 yeah, no. Why should I get punished for that? And welcome aboard, Australasia. At least you're on the right side of the history this time, so. Good. Now, let's see. At least you're over there doing well. I just kind of want to go home and hang out, so... I guess I could leave you over here in, in the waters. I mean, is there anyone we could really kill? I mean, we're surrounded by other... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can't go to war with them? What? Oh, duh, I'm out of... God dang, political power. Uh... Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I don't think Nepal has any navy, so... For heavy equipment... Uh, we could... Well, we traded one group. We'll do that again. So be it. Whatever. But at least we're kind of out of a war now. Sort of out of a war. A little bit out of a war. Please tell me Nepal is fighting someone else. Okay, they're fighting the... Oh, good. I'm not going to deal with that. Woo! Travel aviation. Let them operate again. That's fine. Look at that stability. I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay, coming to France. Let's see what you're up to. Uh, Kingdom of Spain. I want to send some... I can't send volunteers. Why? Why? America's united. At long last, America's been united under the American Union States banner. Traders and would-be tyrants who had tried to destroy and corrupt this great nation, yet we fir hold firm and took control. A question has risen, however, in these territories that which did not initially rise up with Huey Long in the Civil War. Is this country the United States of America, or is it truly the American Union State? There's a longing among many to return to the stability of the stars and stripes, and even if things are irrevocably changed. Should we appease them and show them that America, Huey, originally vision that still exists? Yes, we are the United States now and forever. We will become known as the United States just because it's not Long's plan. Uh, I'm so glad we kept our nice, very dark shade of blue. I love blue so much. Um, I'm glad we kept it. Long didn't want to change, radically transform the country. He just wanted to uh, make things a little different. Just, we'll put it like that. For the better or for the worse. But regardless, we're going to end the episode here because I really want to know. Oh, look, Central America. Should I give myself political power just because... Oh my gosh, minus 600? That's that's unfair. That's completely unfair. Look at the stability, too. Should I give myself at least a little bit of stability? Because we lost so much release. Not because we didn't want to release nations here. I don't think I should get punched for that much. If anything, what I think should happen in Kaiserreich is if we release like some sort of colonial conglomerate. In which you can like put them all under one like puppet government. In which that could administer like the African colonies. I think that would be really cool. It'd be hard to implement. Sure, you do some stability. But regardless, those are just my ideas. But I hope you enjoyed the war against the remainder of the Entente. I'm letting time go on right now. Hopefully, they can take the Kathmandu, Charlie Naval Companies. But regardless, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we are at peace. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.